Thanks to advances in sanitation and healthcare, child mortality has fallen significantly in recent decades. Vaccines have had a significant impact on children's health over the course of history. Take smallpox, for example. In the 20th century, it killed between 300 and 500 million people worldwide. An intensive global immunization campaign launched in the 1960s dramatically cut the number of people infected with the disease. In 1979, the World Health Organization declared the disease to have been wiped out. The polio eradication program has seen the number of cases reduced by 99% since 1988. And it doesn't end there. In the US, diphtheria and congenital rubella syndrome have been eliminated, while Europe is committed to beating measles and rubella in the coming years. In the 21st century, as the population ages, we see a shift towards a life course approach to vaccination. A number of important vaccines exist to protect not only children, but also adolescents, adults, people suffering from chronic diseases, as well as older age groups. This is why it's important to keep good immunization coverage rates, as when they fall, diseases return and death rates rise. Vaccines also help to reduce spending on healthcare and treatment. The Global Vaccine Action Plan estimates that $63 billion will be saved between 2011 and 2020 using existing vaccines. Currently, new vaccines against HIV, malaria, tuberculosis and Ebola are in the pipeline. So in the future, we can expect more diseases to become vaccine preventable, thanks to vaccines and to the effective implementation of vaccination programs.